Well, sudden tragedy recently struck three families in the Carolina Forest area of Horry County. So an assistant teacher at Carolina Forest Elementary School is doing what he can to help. News 13's Jennifer Blake is live at the site of a fundraiser to explain. Jennifer. A fourth grade and kindergarten student both lost their mother this year, and a teacher's son is recovering after breaking his neck in a bad car crash. So today, until 8 o'clock, there's a fundraiser happening here at the Tavern in the Forest for all of them. It's been, a, it's been a heck of a 2022 so far. Two girls who go to Carolina Forest Elementary School lost their mothers since the year began. One of those girls is the daughter of the Northern Bites owner who died from COVID. She is in fourth grade. The other little girl who lost her mother, Ember, is in kindergarten. Losing a loved one can be especially difficult on a child. That's why Darius Gordyke is a putting together this fundraiser. I know it's tough to deal with that, and so we're just raising money to try and help them out. Even though Ember is in kindergarten, she knows these are sad times. She can see the toll it takes on her grandfather, who she calls dad. I really just want my dad to calm down and don't cry because my mom passed away. The fundraiser is more than just a way to donate. You can win something fun for yourself when you help these families. Show tickets to Broadway Theater, rounds of golf at area golf courses around here, um, gift cards, all kinds of fun stuff. So Gordyke says that his co-worker's son was in such a bad car crash that he broke his neck and had to be put into an induced coma. Now he's awake and recovering. If you saw the pictures of what the car looked like, he's pretty blessed to even be here with us. Since word has traveled through the community about these tragedies, people have already started helping. Just thanks for the support. Um, I've had so many people that I don't know that are willing to make donations. It's been pretty awesome to see everybody come together for a good cause. Coming up at six, we'll hear how you can help donate if or how you can help these families if you cannot donate money. Live in Carolina Forest, I'm Jennifer Blake for News 13.